All right, this video is instructional video on how to populate or how to, it's a manual, a user manual for the Jack 35 power box, the 24 volt power box, right? This is a box that you can buy that you can use to populate it with 18650 cells. Uh, and then you'll end up with a nice looking professional box, even though this is a recycled enclosure, battery enclosure, right? We have repurposed it for our uses. So this is what it looks like, right? On the inside, it's that. It is using those PCBs uh, that use the uh, 18650s that are available on Jack 35. So this is version one, right? We have updated this, and now I'm going to show you how to do version two. Version two, slightly different. It looks like this. So here are the problems. The original version had all these cables that sometimes would be confusing. Then it had this thing here that, you know, you, it had to go from one side to the other. All that stuff gets eliminated. All these cables and all these, this thing right here gets eliminated, gets put into one board and all of those connections happen on this board right here. Also, it allows you to use one extra board. Um, wait, does it? No, actually it doesn't, it's the same thing. Um, but here's the other thing. Uh, one of the problems that we were having with the first generation was that in order to isolate the batteries from the bottom thing here, so what was happening is that we use uh, little plastic feet in here to attach these boards to the bottom of this plate, right? But because these are uh, made out of plastic, well, they're not super strong. And when, if you would to ship this battery all put together like this, then what would happen is that a lot of them would break. And so a lot of you guys were getting them and those were broken. So now what we were doing is we were sending extras just so that in that instance that happened, then you could fix them, right? But, you know, there's a, there's a better fix for that, right? And we found it, here you go. Now, with this board here, the connection is much solid now. We use these terminals, M4 terminals. They're soldered into the board, but they're isolated, so they're not connected to anything. So that way, you know, we drill holes on the bottom of these boards and they all line up here. And then you just put a screw in here and now it's securely attached to the battery box, right? Much more securely, it won't break. This stuff will not come apart even if you ship the box and it, they drop it or do something like that, right? So it's much, much better, much better secure. And so that's the advantage. So it's much simpler and is stronger uh, and better made, right? So. There we go, we killed two birds with one stone. We made it better and we made it easier. So now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so step one, you load your cells into the boards, right? Positive and negative. These boards are marked positive and negative, right? So if your cells are brand new, then, uh, then you don't really have to check them all. I mean, it wouldn't hurt if you do it, but Usually they're all the same when you get brand new cells. Uh, they're same voltage, right? So around 30 or 40% instead of charge. But if you're reclaiming cells, if you're extracting cells from some other equipment and stuff, so you're gonna have to check all the cells and then uh, put the capacity and the internal resistance and only use cells that are alike, right? Nothing that's too far off from each other because then that's how you get into trouble, right? When you're building batteries, you need to have batteries that are equally or, you know, around the same state, right, of health, right? So uh, you'll have to do that. I have a bunch of videos. Uh, I'll put some links in the description of this video uh, on how to do that when you're reclaiming cells, right? But these are brand new, so all you have to do is load them up. So positive to the positive, negative to the negative, make sure they're all the same way. Okay, next step, you're gonna have to make the, uh, well, the, uh, the stacks, right? And these stacks are gonna be one, two, three, four, five, right? And so this one I started doing from the top, 
now we're gonna do the bottom, right? So the very bottom. So you just face them all the same way. See, there's a connector, there's a connector. If you did everything right, there should be no sparks, right? You just put it on there. Then the very, the very bottom of the stack gets these short standoffs that are made out of brass or bronze or brass, right? So here we go, we stick them on there. Then you hand tighten those, but not over tight. Okay, so you do that uh, three more times and then one, you do four, uh, four of these boards and then you leave the long standoffs on the bottom. And you will see why that needs to be done in a minute. But this is way simpler than the, than the old version. The old version, you know, there's eight boards that were different that had cables and you had to put them in the thing and you have to connect. These are all basically the same, much, much easier. It's uh, a lot less complex, right? So let's load these into the bottom portion, right? The master board that we have on the bottom. Okay, and here is the master board. And the reason why this one needs four is because the bottom section is reserved for this BMS. So now the BMS is on the bottom of that. And all you have to do is put it on top there of those square uh, pads in there. And then uh, we just put the screws from the bottom, right? So we'll have to flip this whole thing backwards. There we go. Put it like this. And then we put this one in here. There we go. You align the holes right here. You see that? So then we put uh, M30, what are these? M4 screws. Okay, so now we put a next board and you do the same thing. You just line it up. Now be careful, don't touch any of these other stuff because everything's live now. And you will short it out. Here's the other. Let's put the bottom. This little thing here with the little bump, that goes to, to the front. And uh, this is the front, right? This is the, the one that has this little line, that's the front, so. So now we're just screwing the bottom. All right, you see that? The next step is to put the ribbons. All you need is the six ribbon, six uh, connector ribbon, right? All right, now we just put the front. Okay, next we connect the main cable and you should see the, the meter uh, electrify. There we go, you see that? It's almost fully charged. So now we put the sides of the boxes, uh, well, one side and then the top, and then we finish it. So next we put the side here and um, you're gonna have to lift the entire battery. Now we do the other side. Oh, wait a minute. No, before you do that, you have to put the top. Next, the side. So now we just put the front on, put the two screws on each side. And that's it. That's how you put your power box together. When you get this, it's gonna be put, you know, it's gonna be assembled. So you have to disassemble it 
and then put it back together, right? So uh, you'll be able to see how it is before you even start with the project and then you'll be able to put it together. But if for some reason you can, then you can go back and watch how I did it here. The way I did it is just one of many ways of putting this together, right? There are other different ways that are probably easier. Uh, halfway through this thing, I was thinking, man, I should have done this the, uh, some other way or whatever, right? But this is just one way uh, that you can put it together. Um, I hope you enjoy your power box and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you, bye.